Merhaba arkadaşlar. Bu haftaki dersimizde sizlerle birlikte Greek dramayı işleyeceğiz. Ki bu dersin hiç olmazsa bir noktada ileriki safhalarda fayda sağlayacağını zannediyorum. Evet, elinizdeki ders notlarından da takip edeceğiniz üzere ilk önce bir Origins üzerinden bir bakalım. Greek drama has its roots in the Athenian season of festivals honoring Dionysus. Daha ziyade, daha önceleri de mitoloji dersinde söylediğim gibi, e, Bakus veya Dionysus'un e, onuruna festivaller düzenleniyordu hatırlarsanız. Dolayısıyla e, bu festivallerde de e, bildiğimiz üzere eski Yunan tiyatrosu ortaya konuluyordu. The date is usually assigned to this era, is around 700 BC. Dionysus was the god of wine as well as the god of fertility and not surprisingly these festivals were filled with drunkenness and sexuality. Some scholars believe that the Greeks patterned their celebrations after traditional Egyptian pageants in honor of Osiris. You don't need to remember those uh, name, names, Egyptian and Osiris. Whose death and resurrection resembles the life cycle of the grape wine, the wine god symbol, which is severely pruned at the end of the season, lies dormant but sprouts into new life each spring. Burada da gördüğünüz gibi bahar olduğu zaman işte ağaçların çiçek açmaları, ağaçların tomurcuk açmaları ve nihayetinde de meyve vermeleri anlatılıyor. Usually these four festivals were performed during the first weeks of seasonal changes. This is important. During the first weeks of seasonal changes. The times associated with planting, tending the wine, harvesting and wine making. Gördüğünüz gibi toprağa ekiliyorlar. Daha sonra yavaş yavaş ağaç dallarını, dallarını budaklanıyor ve sonunda da artık Ürün elde edip ondan da şarap yapıyorlar. Burada aşağıda de değişik türde çeşitli isimler var. There are some word, uh, names of the festivals. You don't need to remember and you don't need to memorize those. These were natural times of festivity when people felt like singing, sorry, singing, praying for good crops giving thanks and making sacrifices for bountiful harvest. Bol bol artık ürün elde ediyorlar. They get more and more uh, harvests. The core element in these early festivals, pay attention, seems to have been revelry. Drunken men often dressed up in rough goat skins. This was a very ritual uh, dressing at that time. Goats being noted for their sexual potency, donned fake palaces, symbols of fertility, and sang and cohorted in choruses to imitate the capering of goats. Tıpkı böyle keçilerin sıçraması gibi bu şekliyle yapıyorlar. Uh, a company of revelers welcomed Dionysus whose entrance on an ornament float decked with wines, böyle bir hafif bir yüksek bir e, türde bir e, destek olan bir şey düşünün. Yani bir platform gibi düşünün daha doğrusu. Bu platform üzerinde de işte etrafı asma yapraklarıyla süslenmiş olan e, bir yer var. Ve burada da Dionysus, Bakus, kabul ediliyor. Commemorated the God's arrival from the sea. Denizden geliyor. Dikkat edin. Dionysus. The God-like uh, frolicking of the local participants set the tone for the remainder of the festival. Therefore, in parentheses, the word tragedy literally means goat song. This is so important. Tragedy means, literally means goat song from the Greek two words, pay attention, tragos and oat. As goats, these pen-like creatures, dressed like Dionysus companions, 
would boast and bray about their potency, singing hymns, pay attention, to the glory of Dionysus. And fertility was so important at that time for good crops and the perpetuation of small estates. To add to atmosphere of abundance, tradesmen sold honey and almond cakes, just pay attention, flat bread, chestnuts, cheap peas, and broad beans from roadside stands. In a way, there was a bazaar, open bazaar for the people to buy some food. Wine, the focus of the festival, pay attention, flowed freely, given freely. Filmmakers have relished in depicting these colorful and lusty in their movies, of course, wine-soaked orgies, but from all evidence, their films are pale imitations of the original excesses. Despite the fact that there was much drinking and an abundance of raucous horseplay, so there were some, <coughs> in a way, horse races. However, there was also a serious and sacred dimension to these early, pay attention, mystical, sacrificial, sacrificial dramas. So, pay attention mostly the early choruses of 50 men dancing in circle on the stage which was at first an earthen threshing floor. Düz bir toprak satı üzerinde yapıyorlar. And later, daha sonraları, a permanent altar, daha önce de geçmişti, of Dionysus sank not only of fertility, pay attention, not only of fertility, but of the sorrow that comes with winter. Daha önce de söyledik, kışın gelmesine, sonbaharın gelmesine hatırlarsınız, verim olamayacak doğal olarak. The pruning of the grape wine and death. So, pruning of the grape wine or the lack of grape wine, let's say, and death will make the people of uh, that time sorrowful. They also sang of spring because the abundance will start. The appearance of green shoots on the wine. Tomurcuklar artık Asma bah bahçelerinde çıkmaya başlıyor and rebirth yeniden doğuyor. Worshipping Dionysus similar to the Christian observance of Lent and Easter. You don't need to remember those names. Serve as a kind of wish for immortality through the continuous cycles of birth and death and rebirth. The triumph of life over death. Dikkat ederseniz burada Rutin olan her yıl tıpkı dünyamızda günümüzde olduğu gibi rutin olarak sonbaharın gelmesi, kışın arkasından gelmesiyle elde avuçta her türlü şey yok olmaya başlıyor. İnsanlar üzüntü içerisine giriyorlar. People get so sorrowful. They are unhappy because there are no more abundance of uh, grape wines, for example. They can't find any food, for example. But when spring comes, they are so happy that all the things will start, will sprout, and the grain wine uh, will give them some wines as well, and they will become so happy. For that reason, they start a celebration. They give or or they give celebrations for the uh, honor of Dionysus, and he comes from the sea. And he also joins them, uh, their, their uh, happiness in a way. So, for that reason, Greek people, as we taught in our mythology lessons, loved Dionysus a lot. And remember, Demeter was also loved too.